Amen. Here. All aldermen are present. In the motion to approve the ordinance vote designation. Motion by Alderman George Sinez, second. Second. Alderman Burgle. Roll call. Yes. Tom Burrell. Yes. 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 Minutes of the Water Environmental Committee meeting held April 8, 2021. Minutes of the Finance Committee meeting held April 15, 2021. And minutes of the Ordinance Committee meeting held April 15, 2021. Motion to approve all the minutes. Amen. By Alderman Bryant, second. Second. Alderman Dorchinez, questions or comments? Roll call. Larry Bud. Yes. Tom Yes. Kathy yes. 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 Megan Bryant. Yes. Motion is approved, eight to zero. Resolution, Christian County Multi-Jurisdictional All-Hazards Mitigation Plan. Motion to approve the resolution by Alderman Budd. Second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? May I make a comment, Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, the resolution that you had before you came about because your city clerk received an email last Thursday that the person who prepared that for her that you adopted back in February sent the wrong resolution and the wrong language in it. So it's being redone now. So the form you have, since you have to have a resolution to be uh, send a resolution, uh, you need to add the language to that resolution. Afterwards, it says resolution number 14561 is hereby repealed. The clerk is going to put a simple call and the resolution number, whatever it was, you're adopting tonight is made effective retroactive to February 1, 2021. That should get you in compliance with the Christian County Hazard Mitigation Plan adoption. All right. Roll call. Sean Riddle. Yes. Ernie yes. Yes. Leland Yes. 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 Megan Bryant. Yes. Larry Bunn. Yes. Motion coverage eight to zero. Resolution, Tyler Technology Software as a Service Agreement. Uh, We're going to need to table that, please. Okay. Uh, motion to the table, Baldwin Bryant. Second. Second. Baldwin Driscoll. Roll call. I think it's already tabled, wasn't it? The last meeting. We're just not going to take any action tonight. Okay. Is that so, adequate? Correct. That was tabled it was. before, so we're not going to even bring it up. All right. Thank you. Motion to approve the request and issue a special events permit for the powwow to be held on June 4th through 6th, 2021 at Lake Taylorville Marina, pending insurance. Second. Motion of Alderman Driscoll. Second. 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 As, of, as of 4 o'clock, we had no information. Did you get anything after that? No, we have not. Okay. Received it's a motion to the table. Motion to the table by Alderman Dorchinez. Second by Alderman Burgle. Roll call. Ernie Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Leland Zotti? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Driscoll Teddy? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. John Burrell? Yes. Motion carries to the table 8 to 0. Motion to approve the purchase of a new Cure Lamp 2 launch system at a cost not to exceed 135000 if it qualifies as an eligible expense under BDD guidelines and to waive all statutory bidding requirements. According to Steve Klein, this would qualify under BDD guidelines as long as we prorated the uh, sewer lines in the city compared to the sewer lines in the BDD. And I think, Mr. Mann, I think we came up with about one third of the cost would be BDD eligible. So this would leave, according to my figures, 45,000 BDD <coughs> and then 90,000 out of street and sewer budget. So we need a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion by Alderman Dortson. Second. Second by Alderman Olive. Questions or comments? Roll call. Kathy Driscoll? No. Lee Lanzotti? No. Jim Olive? Yes. Yeah. Driscoll Teddy? No. Megan Bryant? Oh. Second. 
Megan wasn't ready for her name. <laughs> um, she has her name. Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Motion. Yes. Motion carries five to three. Motion to approve the intergovernmental grant agreement between the State of Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity and the City of Taylorville. Motion by Alderman Budd, second. Second. Alderman Driscoll, questions or comments? Mr. Mayor, can we change that motion to adoption of the resolution that I sent out this afternoon? Okay. After I read that 46 page degree, but I think it calls for a resolution that the state will probably want. And I did send everybody a, a highlighted copy of that agreement. There's a lot, lot of things that uh, I's and T's that need to be dotted and crossed to, to remain compliance with that 1.5 million project. So, um, your new city treasurer, of course, your city clerk and the engineers need to be really acquainted with that because there's going to be a lot of uh, checks and balances on that. Okay, so will you change your motion to your resolution, yes, Mr. Budd, and will you second that, yes. Alderman Driscoll? Okay, so we're moving the motion to a resolution to approve the intergovernmental grant agreement between the State of Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity and the City of Taylorville. Any other questions or comments? Roll call. Lee Manzoni? Yes. Jim Allen? Yes. Driscoll Teddy? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Ernie yes. Lachinez? Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Rocky, does Bruce need to vote on this? Uh, yes. Mayor, Mayor votes yes. Motion carries 9-0. to zero. <coughs> Motion to approve the Class O liquor license application for Cardinal Restaurant Group, Taylorville 2 LLC, Dustin Clark, doing business at Debbie's Video Gaming Cafe, located at 100 South Main Street, pending receipt of insurance and payment of all fees. Motion to approve the license. Moved. By Alderman Dorchenez, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? I have a comment. Comment, Alderman Bertels. You know, we've had a couple uh, presentations over the last couple council meetings about how well the BDD and the Tech District and the, uh, the new Small Town USA uh, website that we're putting together and how well that's working downtown and other places. And although I've been adamant against raising the number of video gaming license, it seems like that's all we're going to have in town. And I, I think that, especially up on the square, it's a bad idea to overload the square and the city as a whole with video gaming. And I, I just think that the neon lights and the banners are going to get overwhelming for these new businesses and the other businesses that are trying to expand in town. But it's, you know, it sounds like a great idea to have 27 Walmarts in town this size, but I'm sure there'll be an advantageous, there'll be a problems uh, with having that many of the same businesses in a community of this size. Mm -hmm. and, and we've had the same issue with the uh, uh, low-income housing. You know, I work for a company that has low-income housing. We have overloaded this community with that kind of housing. There is not a need for it anymore. As a matter of fact, they're sitting empty. And you can do the same thing with video gaming. At some point, you're going to get too many, and you're going to get in the wrong location that's going to drive those other businesses out. So I know this is my last meeting, but I'd be leery on how many more we have to add of these. All right. Any other comments? Comments? comments all in this one? I'm going to vote no on this on the next one, and it's not going to be enforced against the people who are trying to start a business. My problem is we already have 35 gaming establishments. I just counted that one the other day. Yeah, we have 35, and no limit to the license because you always felt the market would balance itself. Obviously, it's not. We keep adding more and more and more. And I'll stand behind my saying, just like Michelle, and I think that it doesn't show a good image for Taylorville. Um, that, you know, if we have 35 establishments, we add two more. That's 37. And, and that many people spending their money on, on gambling is not money going into other things. I think it's a negative thing for our city and not a good one. So that's just my opinion. All right. Any other comments or questions? Roll call. Jim Allen? Yes. Chris Teddy? No. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertle? No. Ernie Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? No. Lee Lanzotti? No. Four to four, the mayor votes yes. Motion carries five to four. Motion to approve the Class O liquor license application <laughs> for Annie's Taylorville LLC, located at 117 West Park Street, pending receipt of insurance. So moved. Motion by Alderman Dorchinez, second. 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 Alderman Budd, questions or comments? Roll call. Chris Teddy? <coughs> no. 
Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. John Brittle? No. Ernie Dorchin? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? No. Leland Duddy? No. Jim Ollie? <coughs> yes. Four to four, the mayor votes yes. Motion carries five to four. Motion to recommend to the city council to direct the city attorney to prepare an ordinance to decrease the liquor license fee by 50% at the poor establishments only to be determined by the liquor commissioner. Motion. Mr. Mayor, I have a question first. Okay. Can we please make sure that this is noted to be one time only? The way okay. it's written, it doesn't sound that way. Okay. Right. Well, he would prepare the ordinance, so yes, we could have it one time only, or for this year, 21 through 22. Okay, so can need I a motion? Can I say something real quick? Yeah. So, uh, our office had to put out all the statements to all the establishments. Many of them have already paid, quite a lot of them have already paid their full rate. So, if we pass this, we'll have to end issue refunds to the people that have already paid. Okay. All right, so can I get a motion to approve that? By Alderman Dorchinez, second. second. You second. Yeah. By Alderman Bertle, questions or comments? Roll call. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Budd? No. Sean Bertle? Yes. Ernie Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Dressel? Yes. Leland Zotti? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Crystal Petty? No. Motion carries six to two. Okay, motion to bid and or advertise heavy equipment operator A in the sewer department. Second. <coughs> motion by Alderman Driscoll, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? Roll call. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Riddle? Yes. Ernie Dorchin? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Lanzotti? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Teddy? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. City Attorney update. Rocky? Good <coughs> brief, Matt. First, folks, the first one which I just want to remind everyone again uh, to the status of the uh, completion of, and conservation of ordinance 4027 concerning the purchase of the eight vehicles. You have a deadline of April 26th to have it all submitted, approved, and money into an escrow account. I don't know where uh, the city treasurer was at on this, but I did uh, assist with the completion of an SOA form. So just a pleasant reminder, April 26th is the deadline to keep that low interest rate that you have. So uh, I hope, hopefully you're working on it. Second thing is that I sent you an email, and I left you an email again today concerning the two of our lawsuits that have been filed against the city uh, by Jamal Shahada. And sometime in the future, I'll probably add to a confidential email uh, to bring him further on status. But the bottom line is, uh, the my motion that I filed was uh, was granted uh, over his objection, and we have now until May 17th to respond to the complaint, the pending motions, and status hearing now set for later in the month of May 24th. So, any questions about either of those two items? If not, that concludes my report. Thank you. Mayor or report. The election's over. At our next council meeting, we will seat three new aldermen. Congratulations to Steve Dorchinez, Doug Brown, and Jeremy Wilson on their election, and congratulations to Larry Budd on his reelection. The citizens have elected a new treasurer and would like to welcome Scott Alverson to the city as well. I would like to thank retiring alderman Sean Bird and Ernie Dorchinez for their combined 37 years of service. Also like to thank all of the Lanzati and Treasurer Nation for their service to the city. I have been busy drawing up committee assignments and invite each alderman to come in and discuss their committee assignment. I would also like for each alderman, past or present, to get me a list of trees on the boulevards that need to be taken down so we can start the process of replacing sidewalks. We will continue to tear down dilapidated properties and if the alderman could get a current list from the ward, so we will start this process as well. Tomorrow, the first ever Lake Lot Lottery will be at 5 p.m. at the Lake Shop. I invite everyone there. This will be our number one priority this year, cleaning up our lake area and the marina. I'd like to, the heartfelt thank you to all the superintendents and chiefs that have served under my administration the four years of my first mayorship. 
for their excellent work. I just can't thank the chiefs and the superintendents enough for what they have helped the city do in the four years I've been mayor. I believe the city is still headed in the right direction and I ask for your help. Thank you very much. So, committee reports. Discussion and or motions to approve, <coughs> adopt, and or deny, and or table, and or amend, and or refer to an appropriate committee in whole or in part the matters regarding the following subject matters discussed at the committee level. Lake and Airport. Alderman Board Chenez. Thank you, Mayor. The first motion was to, uh, came out as a committee meeting, was to recommend to the City Council to proceed with the purchase of playground equipment as recommended by Superintendent Ordman at a cost not to exceed $40,000 money coming from the 5th Ward upon approval from the City Attorney Ravana. If the money from the 5th Ward cannot be used, and it can't be, the $40,000 will be taken out of the Lake Restoration Fund with the payment schedule being drawn up with a $10,000 per year payback from the Hotel Motel Tax Fund. So this motion, uh, the way it's written, and the information from Attorney Romano, we can't take the money from the 5th Ward, so the money would, would be coming from the uh, uh, Lake Restoration Fund to be paid back from the Hotel Motel Tax. And I'll make that a formal motion. Motion by Alderman Dorton Smith, second. Second. Alderman and Brian, questions or comments? I don't comment. Comment? Um, so the um, money in the hotel motel tax right now is only $9,297. And this um, does not include everything that has come in for March for the hotel motel money. Um, now remember you have to pay 60% of that out to downtowntaylorville.org. So I don't see where you're going to have the money in this account to repay this back every year, the way that the money is in this account now. Um, back in 2007, when the lake shop was built, um, $66,500, Chairman Williams at the time said it is necessary to do the building and that the only way to pay it uh, at the present time is to use a lake restoration fund um, the aldermen at that time agreed that they would like to pay back the money to the fund when possible. That's never been done either. So um, I just don't see where you're going to have the money now to do this one. And from 2007, that's never been paid back either. That's my comment. Right. We have a motion in a second. So roll call. John Brittle. Abstain. Um, one last time. One last one. Start that off, boys. <laughs> Ernie Dorsonet? Yes. Kathy Dorsonet? Yes. Lee Lanzotti? No. Jim Alla? No. <laughs> no. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. I think the motion carried four to three, one, correct? Two, three. Five. Five to three. Two. Abstain. Okay. With an abstain. No problem. I would like to make a comment. Comment. You know, we've got, that, we do have some revenues coming in at the, at the lake, and, and it, they ought to be increased, I would think, with the rental of the cabins because they've been, um, they've been dressed up some more, and they were dressed up last year. I think that uh, um, whatever, uh, we're, we're low on funds, I think that we can supplement it with some of that income. Um, and so I think we can at least take care of this one. I don't know about the other one um, that you're talking about, but I think that we can supplement this. Okay. Next motion. Uh, next motion was to, and the last motion was to <coughs> recommend the city council to accept the bid for $500 from Dennis Crowder for the 1997 pickup truck. I'd like to make that in the form of a motion. Motion by Alderman Dorsen S. Second by Alderman Driscoll. Questions or comments? Roll call. Ernie Dorton. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Lee Lanzotti. Yes. Jim Allen. Yes. Chris Coltetti. Yes. Megan Bryant. Yes. 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 Motion carries eight to zero. Water and environmental. Alderman Birdle. First motion came out of the committee meeting was a motion to recommend the city council approve utilizing the IEPA lab fee program for the fiscal year 
2021 through 2022 for a cost not to exceed 13,000, but that figure has been changed. They lowered the rate to $10,120.60. So I'd like to have that motion adjusted to reflect that number. Could you tell me that number again, please? $10,120.60. Thank you. I'll make that formal motion. Motion by Alderman Burden, second. Second. Alderman Alder, questions or comments? Roll call. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Lanzani? Yes. Jim Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Burdo? Yes. Bernie George Smith? I've never had the chance in all the time I've been here to ever abstain from a vote. <laughs> but I learned something tonight that you can yeah. for no good reason. And so I abstained from this vote for no good reason. All right. Motion carries 7 to 0. <laughs> and his legacy lives the, on. There's two, three more motions. Actually, 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 the motion passed 8 to 0. Yeah, the abstention goes with the I understand. Rocky, I understand. I understand, but I still yeah, abstain. Not his first rodeo, is no. it? No. <laughs> All right, maybe his last. <laughs> Second motion is recommended to the City Council to approve the purchase of a John Deere Z740R Z track from Sloan implements at, uh, at a cost not to exceed 7500 Make that formal motion. Motion by Alderman Burgle. Second. Second. Alderman Bud. Uh, questions or comments? Roll call. Lee Lanzani? Yes. Jim Ellis? Yes. Crystal Teddy? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. 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 Motion carries 8 to 0. Next motion was recommended to City Council to direct City Attorney to prepare an ordinance to make change, changes, I should say, <laughs> regarding the water collection office in the, in the city code book as suggested. Okay. Motion by Alderman Burgle. Second. Second. Alderman Olive, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Last motion was a motion to recommend to the City Council to correct City Attorney to prepare an ordinance to change the, the term reconnection fee to processing fee. I'd like to make that formal motion. Motion of Alderman Burgle, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Finance Committee, Alderman Bud. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Yeah. Mayor, can I interrupt for a moment? Right. Uh, before you go to the next one there and, and remind Alderman Bernal that in looking at your April 8, 2021 uh, Water Committee minutes, there was a motion made to table the Noble Solutions Agreement that passed by a 4 to 0 vote. Uh, with that having been done, I would just, because you've already passed a resolution last month, or last meeting, to approve that agreement. So with that motion to table at the committee level, I would ask the mayor, remind the mayor, not to sign that agreement until uh, that committee, and Mr. Spiegel gets uh, it worked out with the normal solutions and brings it back at the revised agreement for your consideration. All right, Rocky, Mr. Spiegel would like to talk to that matter. That motion was to make an amendment to the previously approved agreement, so we did not make that change. That motion to table was to an amendment to the previous agreement, so we did not want to make the amendment change. Mr. Spiegel worked that out, so we should go back to the previous agreement that we did approve, correct, Mr. Spiegel? Correct. And there was a discussion at the Lake and, or at the Water Committee about an amendment, and that's what was tabled. All of a sudden, they don't need the $500. Uh -huh. Okay. So, is that right, Mr. Spiegel? Okay. Correct, yeah. Right. So, they're going to go back to the Illinois jurisdiction and they're not going to charge you for it. Yeah, yeah. right. Good. Okay. See, hey, we, good. we worked that out without you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just uh, didn't understand the minutes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Finance, Alderman Bud. <clears throat> First motion is recommended City Council to approve the business development. District redevelopment agreement between the city of Taylor and James Wong, uh, Quick Cash Pond and Jewelry located at 120 South Main in the amount of $605. Make that for a motion. Motion by Alderman Bud, second. second by Alderman Bertle. Uh, questions or comments? Roll call. Jim Ellis? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. John Bertle? Yes. Yes. George Smith? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Yes. Motion carries eight to zero. Uh, the second motion was directed to the city council approved the business development district redevelopment agreement between the city of Taylorville and American Legion, post 73, located at 110 West Franklin, in the amount of 6,323.45. Make that form the motion. 
Most of all in bed. Second. Second to Alderman Driscoll. Uh, questions or comments? Roll call. Driscoll, Teddy? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Burrow? Yes. Ernie Dorsey? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Van Dyke? Yes. Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Uh, the next motion was to recommend the City Council approve the Business Development District Redevelopment Agreement between the City of Taylor and Lee and Diane Skinner for the property located at 2 Old West Market Street in the amount of 3250 Make that informed motion. Motion by Alderman Budd. Second. Alderman Burble. Comments or questions? Roll call. Megan Bryant? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Burble? Yes. Ernie Dorchin? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Van Dyke? Yes. Jim Allen? Yes. Motion. Yeah. motion carries 8 to 0. <coughs> uh, the next motion we recommend the City Council before the HBO, street, sewer, garbage, MFT, and safety budgets to the Treasurer for further refinement. <laughs> Make that informed motion. Motion by Alderman Budd. Second. Second. Alderman Bryant. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Um, the Mayor talked to me about this. The next motion uh, that was to reimburse Ward 1 from Ward 5 in the amount of 45000 contingent upon any and all payments received from the <coughs> drainage district be played in the Ward Fund fund, but he said that has to go through the street. Let's go through street and sewer, correct, Rocky? That's correct. It's under section 3-2-4, so paragraph J of the city code. You'll have to go to the street sewer committee first. And if it's approved there, then it's brought back to the city council. Give me a motion to the table. Yeah, motion to the table. Baldwin Burgle. Second. Second. Baldwin Driscoll. Roll call. Larry Bud. Yes. Sean Burgle. Yes. Ernie Dorchin. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Lee Van Dyke. Yes. Sean Burgle. Yes. Ernie Dorchin. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Lee Van Dyke. Yes. Jim Allen. Yes. Driscoll. Teddy. Yes. Megan Bryant. Abstain. <laughs> 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 motion to the table. <laughs> carries <laughs> eight to zero with the abstention. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, the last motion was to recommend City Council to accept the treasurer's report as presented. Make that formal motion. Motion to Alderman Bud. Second. Second. Okay. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments on the treasurer's report? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Motion to approve or, uh, or ratify payment of bills $253,036.24. Okay. Most of Alderman Budd, okay. second Alderman Burgle. Questions or comment? Comments, Alderman Budd. Electric, 9,440.87. Fuel, 12,611.93. Garbage, 1,475.88. A. Big R. Rons and Urban, uh, 1,474.36. Illinois Public Risk, Workers' Comp for May is 19,273. IMT, it's a uh, surety bond 1080 computer tech 5376.88 star electric 1765.47 all torpor 6224.54 breeze 1026.70 neil tire 6733.94 uh, quill office supplies 1082.31 hogan poe 1114.50 milo grunlo engineers dceo grant 2508 <coughs> United Capital Funding, that's temporary help, 1,681.68. People's Bank and Trust, final payment for the police and fire communications equipment, 21,351.92. BDD, Phil Tullis, 1316 East Park, 50,000, that's his, uh, for the new building. DowntownTaylorville.org, website, small town Taylorville, uh, Taylorville 6,179.40. Fire Department, ATI Services, Squad One Repair. 5,563.27. Police Department, Christian County 911 uh, Flex Software, 12,924. Uniforms and Equipment, 6,198.93. Archive Social, Records Backup, 3,192. Ultimate Training, Munitions and Ammo, 1,413.23. Journey Altworth Training, 1,081.02. Street Department, Lily Science, 9,687.42. And so those, you may have seen this, this is the reimbursement of the sign that was damaged by a car that we've already received the check for. So it's been paid for already. Sewer Department, Co Equipment, 7,471.24. Water Department, EPA Labs, 10,120.60. Chemicals, 9,197.69. 
Sloan Implement, John Deere Mower, 7,500. Vanaventure Engineering, 3,109.35. Lake Department, Pimco Services, Ruby Printer, 5,775.20. And Campground Lake Lot Refunds, 1,200. These total 234, 659.33. All right. Roll call. John Rivers. Yes. 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 Motion carries eight to zero. First subparagraph G of 5 ILCS 120 slash 2.06. This portion of the city council meeting is reserved for any person who wishes to address the council on any relevant subject matters concerning the city. The Illinois Open Meeting Act 5 ILCS 120 slash 1NC mandates no action shall be taken on subject matters not listed on the agenda, but the council may direct staff to address the topic or refer the subject matter to a future council and or committee meeting. If anyone wishes to address the council, please provide your name and address, limit your comments or presentation to three minutes and avoid repetitious comments. Thank you. Anyone like to address the council? I do. Have one thing. I know that back when uh, COVID and all that started back last spring, we talked about the need for you to assign someone as mayor pro tem, and you did with Alderman Dorchness. But since he's retiring, I would suggest that you come up with another. Person. I will have that at the May 3rd meeting. Okay, that's all. And uh, I will just let the council know I'm having surgery, hopefully Friday morning in Chicago. So Alderman Dorchinez will be mayor pro tem for oh, while yeah. oh, under, oh, I got a list. While I'm under anesthesia, down, please. While I'm under <laughs> anesthesia, so. Can you get the golf cart? Over? It's just off, you know, I'll be <laughs> out that day and uh, I'll be home, probably be at, be at work on He's Saturday. Right. You need a golf cart. That's right, okay. you can have it. <laughs> so. Little League Parade is this Saturday at 10, so I invite everyone to come to that. Was well, this plan to make this as short as possible because it was the last business one me and Ernie's going to have? Or well, this I think, well, Ernie had no stories. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just start so, some travel. Maybe, yeah. maybe vote no twice. Alderman Bud, would you like to say something? The food giveaway is Wednesday out of food. Out of the Food giveaway. Yeah. 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 Central Illinois Food Bank is going to have a food giveaway for fairgrounds. <laughs> Motion for adjournment. Second. Motion and second. Motion and third. All in favor. Aye. Opposed. This meeting is. We should have all opposed. I know we should have opposed. We didn't. We didn't. I'm gonna leave my dinner here tonight.